So you knew it had to happen. Yep, you all knew it had to happen. Today, our showcase video, our Survivor Series is going... It's not about you yet, Chrissy! It's about Stella, y'all. Today, oh my gosh. Yes, there are a lot of amazing animals at the sanctuary, uh, or a part of the sanctuary, a part of our rescues. And uh, today will be our first dog focus, which is going to be Stella. An amazing, oh my gosh, friends, I'm sorry. I don't know how I'm gonna ever get this video made if I keep having to deal with another one of our rescues in Christmas. But you guys join me and let's talk about Stella. And <sighs> Your day is coming, just not today. I know that dog rescue is not very longhorn lusterish. You want to talk about Carl, the mighty ostrich, and Tex, the longhorn bull. And here I find myself in my spare time, which is not much, and I'm rescuing dogs. <laughs> oh, Jamie's going to be so proud. She, she's going to be so happy. And she's going to be so broken. This is going to break her. Seeing this puppy, this little girl up close is not easy, y'all. It's not easy. So I'm going to warn you now, this is going to be a hard video to watch. It's going to be a hard video to watch. But there might not be a happier ending to this chapter than what you're about to see. I'm pulling into my driveway now. I have a beautiful and sad rescue in the back of my truck and uh, I want to give you a fair warning this is a tough one my friends this is gonna be a tough one what happened to you that is the saddest thing ever oh look at its back end baby you're starving sweetie her ears have been all eaten and chewed all right this might be the saddest dog that we've ever come across here in the neighborhood I feel so bad for her. Sweetie, I'm gonna go get some food and come back, y'all. Can I see you? Come here. Look, I'm getting down low, come on. Come here, baby. Come on, sweetie, I know you're scared. I know you're so scared. Um, I'm gonna stay here and just see if Jamie will come meet me. I don't mean to make judgment here but there's a there's a culture of don't care out here and it's awful i mean look at this poor baby hi sweetie i can't imagine her story and the things that she's been through but boy do i want to take her home you gotta go for a vet visit and Stella does not want to be in the truck. She's like, no, 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 no. I'm staying here. I'm not, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. And never, never leaving. Baby, I know. Well, we got to take a little vet visit. And uh, this is the first time that we've taken her to the vet. Uh, if you remember the first time, our vet came here to see her. I know. But we have to go do a vet visit today, baby. It's our day. So I'm going to pick you up and put you in my lap. And I'm going to drive you to the vet. And everyone's going to love you there. They're going to love you so much. Ritzy, do not get in that truck. So y'all come with us? Yes, baby. The vet needs to see your ears and your skin. And she's going to check you out for all kinds of stuff. So you guys come along with us. Let's get Stella. Uh, let's get Stella's groove back. Hey, folks. Lester here. And I'm standing at our yard. Jamie's above-ground garden. And our little fenced-in yard that we have named after Journey who was with us and in the short time that we had her was able to change the world by inspiring so many people. The reason I'm coming to you today at this particular spot is because we're gonna take our newest rescue, Stella, and we're going to make her a yard dog. Now, before you go crazy and freak out on me, let me explain a couple of things to you. Uh, we got all of the blood work back from the vet and there's nothing 
infectious. There's nothing that Stella can spread to our other animals. And so after five days of quarantine, uh, there in the stall where we have her now, we're gonna move her into our inside yard. Yoo-hoo, sleeping beauty. <laughs> Wake up, pretty girl. I'm coming in there with you. Can I come in there with you? We're gonna, we're gonna make a move. We're about to make us a move. Well, yes, we are. We're gonna make a move into the yard where there's green grass. <gasps> That'll be fun. That'll be fun, won't it? You got the okay? You're all clear from the vet? Oh, baby, you don't know. See, we wanna to try to change that. It's important that we help give her a will to live. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna come in there and get you. I'm gonna carry you, okay? I'm gonna carry her. I don't want her to walk. I'm gonna carry her all the way over. Y'all give me a minute here. She does seem to be a little nervous, a little jittery, but that can be expected. I can't video and care at the same time, y'all. Let me put the phone down. All right, I did sit, uh, stand her beside her bucket of water so she can see where she can get a drink from. Uh, it's very likely she'll, you know, make a couple of rounds to make sure she's safe. I can almost promise you we're gonna have alpacas run over here any minute to check her out. Come on, sweetie. This is what I was afraid of here. Here we go. Stay with daddy, okay? I like how she comes to me. The alpacas are not real sure of her. And they're gonna have to take their time to get you. <laughs> Who is that, Annie or Ernie? Who's making that weird noise? Who's doing that noise and why? Who's making that funny noise? That's, this is Stella, she's sweet. Y'all love her. That's Annie. Annie, you're freaking me out and you're gonna scare Stella. Now stop it. She's a sweet girl. She's a rescue just like you. Just not quite as pretty, but don't tell her I said that. Oh boy, Ruby, you got two mamas? This is the mama that she loves. It's just so funny. Help her out there, Stell. Good girl, Stella. <laughs> I don't know if Stella's ever been a mama. This is so sweet to watch. Now, Ruby just finished eating. Good girl, Stella, good girl. So I don't think that she's like hungry. I think that she's just looking for nurturing. Oh, that was sweet. One of the hardest things with Stella is getting her loaded in and out of the truck. She likes to go for rides. 
Let's go, bye-bye, let's go, up, 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 up. Whereas everyone else can pretty much jump right in. Sometimes they need a little pat to push to get going. Stella can't. She looks to me, and I am her only way to get in and out of the truck. Her legs don't work. She wants to get in. Look at her. She's like, hello, hello, come on. I'm going to lose my spot if you don't hurry. Y'all make some room for Stella. But she's unable to get in by herself, so she does require help. Come on, sweetie. <clears throat> oh. Come on, get in. Y'all make some room for Stella. Get in there, baby. Oh. And that was getting in the truck. When we get back to the house, getting out will be the same thing. All right, we're home. All right, Trixie's down. I'm coming, sweetie. I'm coming. Let daddy help you. Hold on. Come on. I got you, sweetie. Ready? There you go. All right, you're a good girl. <sighs> we are off to the JL Ranch, and I got a crew. I, Stella's had enough of this already. She's already had enough. She's like, yeah. I can't handle, I can't work with these guys. I cannot work with this crew here. And everyone else is so excited to go. I'm in. Ooh. You know, you can't stay there. Stella, all of that is merchandise that I'm gonna send off to people in the mail today. And it's gonna... Um, if you get your merchandise and it has hair and stuff on it, Stella, all of that was really... Uh, if you're receiving merchandise today and you find that there's hair and stuff on it, just know whose fault that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs>